scored four goals in seven and a half minutes. But for most teams that plug along like the Blues do, there's a shot. They score! David Perron set up in front from Sanford, and Perron gives the Blues a one nothing lead. Yeah, that was quick. Yeah, for a fifth-round pick, they picked up Cousins from Montreal in the trade as well. That shot by Carlson on goal, saved by Binnington. Pass in front, and a cross off the goal post. And Bortuzzi oh. may have kept it out. Another shot by Martinez, and that hit bodies as Martinez had a wide-open top corner after the Golden Knights came so close to tying the game. Former third round pick by the Capitals. And a drive and a save by Bennington. Rebound. Wah. And Bennington got over without a goal stick, I believe. White Cloud gets it out. Here's Smith. Under some pressure from the Blues captain. Now Smith in front. Backhander. What a save by Bennington. And the Golden Knights come in with numbers. Here's Mark Stone across. Oh, Bennington got over. And a great save on Stevenson in last year's Stanley Cup playoff. Here's Shen. Pass in front. Rebound. They score! Pareko off the goal post and in. And the Blues get an early goal. And they take a 2-0 lead. You can hear the clang. That little wrister. The big right-hander from St. Albert. Alberta just flinged it under the bar. And it is hard to beat Marc-Andre Fleury high over the goal. He's got one of the best gloves in the history of the National Hockey League up high. A first a fanned off play. It's a fan pass. It looked to me like Shen has his head up and he's looking for Jordan Cairo. Whiffs on it, off the heel, and then the big fella just parks it under the bar and in. Now Stasny loves it. Below the goal line, out high. That's off the goal post. I don't think Bennington ever saw that drive from out high. And grabbed by Stone. Across, Martinez to Theodore. He scores! And a power play goal. And it's now two to one. And now Marsh or so out of the box. At the line, a drive by Holden. And a save, and they score on the rebound as Tuck ties the game at two. Tucks it in on a little toe drag right there when it looked like goaltender Jordan Binnington made a, might have had that under his right pad. The puck was loose. Tuck gets to it. Keep your eye on number 89 as he sets up the play with a little backhand and then he gets a stick on the ice, goes right to the net. Let's see this little curl and drag. Yeah, right there. Wow, he's got a good wrist shot. 27 goals on the year. Now a pass in front again, tipped on goal, rebound, they score! Tuck, he gets his second of the night. And the Knights take a three to two lead. He gets it from Sanford. And O'Reilly a pass, Pareko walks in and he waits. Flurry out of the goal, wrap around, they score! Pareko did it himself as Flurry was too aggressive and it's tucked in by Pareko and we are tied. Two players with two goals in this game. Pretty play by Colton Pareko as Ryan Reeves goes off frustrated. This is patience. Nice pass, the late man coming in. Brower with the middle lane drive, going hard to the post. He causes a lot of havoc right there in front of that net. Give Brower a lot of credit by going to the top of the blue paint. So a sweeping play there by Martinez. O'Reilly and Sanford with the assists. Now the Blues come back in and they score and they go back on top. It is four to three. A wild seesaw game here in Edmonton tonight. Nicholas Watt, number 10, pass in front, a shot, they score! I believe White Cloud in from the right point. And we are tied at four. Mark Stone with it, Blues don't clear it. Here's McNabb to the net, they score! It may have hit either Falk or Stone. And it's 5-4 Vegas. And off balance, good play, but it's off O'Reilly's stick, kept in, long shot, they score! From the right point, the Golden Knights have taken a two-goal lead.